Well, there's no question these are tough times for startups and budding entrepreneurs must be creative in finding new sources for venture capital as well as many other things. Swallowing pride, finding help is half the battle. DePaul University working to cement itself as a leader in entrepreneurial education and is offering help. The director of the McDermott Center for Management and Entrepreneurship joins us now with more on that. Gary, Gary Lemon, welcome to the program. Glad to be here. We're going to talk about a symposium a little later too with some high profile people, but first of all, the McDermott Center at to Paul. You know, we see entrepreneurship, I think, really emerging as a, as a focus in our state at a number of universities and el elsewhere. Do you sense that, that, that over the course of the past uh, 20 years, entrepreneurial education has elevated itself? I think it, that's true. Uh, a lot of students now are interested in starting their own business. Uh, we have a, a woman, Angie Hicks, who started Angie's List, uh, and she started right out of school. And so students are more interested, I think, today, uh, trying their hand in those kinds of things rather than the GMs and the GEs of the world. Right. What are the challenges that uh, DePaul University and, and other universities face in, in connecting with these students and providing the entrepreneurial education that's really going to fit? DePaul's been extremely successful uh, in terms of producing yes. uh, 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 entrepreneurs and business leaders. What's, what's key in this day and age? Well, it's networking. Uh, uh, the DePaul alums are very loyal and we try to match these people up. Uh, we have them come back and do lectures and if a student's interested in marketing or starting a business uh, they can talk to these people uh, two on one or three on one. So we try, it's, it's, it's a matter of networking and uh, sharing your ideas and talking to people about what's been successful and what hasn't been successful. The internship uh, area that DePaul has been known for for a number of years, uh, generally speaking, I, I would assume plays a key role in, in, in this program as well. Yes. Uh, uh, if you're in the Management Fellows Program, you have to do a semester-long paid credit-bearing internship. And a lot of students do them at a small firms. And it's a, get, it's a way of them getting to see how it's done and, uh, once again, networking with those people uh, who are out there in the real world doing it. What role can a DePaul University as well as other universities in the state play to serve as a resource, if you will, for entrepreneurs? Well, that's one of the reasons we're doing this symposium uh, on October 5th and 6th. Uh, we are going to bring back uh, people who have been out there doing it, and they're going to share their experiences. This is not going to be academics talking about, in theory, this is the way it works, but these are people who have really started their own business. Uh, they're doing their own thing, and so they're going to be sharing with people uh, in Indiana uh, how they have done it and how what the kinds of mistakes they've made in the past and what kinds of things uh, they mm. wish they'd known when they started. And you talk about a couple of high profile folks, Jeff Smalley and of course CEO at Emmis, uh, as well as Mary Meeker, yes. a very high profile person who actually is a 1981 DePaul graduate. That is correct. Uh, Mary uh, has been in the news a lot recently. <laughs> It, what, what do you hope that folks who attend this are going to pull out of this? And how do you see this shaping perhaps future forays into this kind of, uh, kind of event or events like this uh, at DePaul? Well, in my ideal world, uh, people will get some knowledge, but also there may be people there that have very good ideas and people who have some money and they can mm -hmm. uh, uh, match up. And it would be wonderful five years from now we could have a success story. Somebody said, look, I went to this symposium. Uh, I had this idea. I was able to... A network uh, with people and uh, I started this business and here's what's happened. Very good. Gary Lemon uh, from DePaul University. We see the website there, uh, depaul.edu. We also had information on the symposium on how folks can get connected and attend that symposium. Good luck with that, and uh, we look forward to talking to you, with you in the future. Thank you very much. All right, Gary, and there you see the information on your screen. For more information, the phone number as well as additional information.